Hello guys, my name is Philip, and the alias I go around on the internet is Donut Deflector. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm in a Ubuntu Mate virtual machine, and I'm going to be showing you how to use E4 RAT, which stands for E4 Reduced Access Time. What this does, it, it uh, cuts down your PC's boot time. This is of course for Linux. E4 RAT uh, does this by optimizing the hard drive maxes out the CPU and the hard drive at boot, and also optimizes the files via defragmenting and other methods uh, to have the files be in an optimal position to be read fastest on the disk. Uh, this will include pretty much everything you need to boot up, as well as the applications you usually use. Um, this tutorial is aimed at Ubuntu, and Ubuntu derivatives, just something to keep in mind. And this is more of an intermediate uh, user should, intermediate to advanced user should attempt this. Beginners, hey, if you guys um, wanna take a dive into this, absolutely, you're gonna learn more about your system and stuff like that, and all that fancy crap. Another thing, this will only work on computers with the ext4 file system, hence the e4 part of e4 rat. A few things before we get started, E4 RAT will not work on an SSD due to the nature of an SSD. SSDs have a, uh, no moving parts, so it's not going to really be affected by any of the changes that E4 RAT does. E4 RAT is meant to optimize the spinning disk and read head of a hard drive. This is the fault of most Linux distributions. Uh, if you choose guided partitioning, so you don't really have to worry about that, but it's always good to check. So, one way we're going to do this, we're going to do it through the terminal, because, hey, it's a terminal. You can do a lot, so control alt we're going to open up the terminal, and we're going to type in lsblk-f. What this will do will give you the file systems of any of the attached uh, drives on your system. You can see that we have SDA, which is our device. It's the only hard drive in the system. It, this is, of course, a virtual machine. So it says ext4, and that's mounted at root. And we also have a swap partition, which we don't have to worry about. ext4, and the mount point is root. We're all fine to go ahead with it, because we're running ext4. So let's get started. We're going to go to the SourceForge page uh, where e 4 rat is hosted on. Go to Files, and then... 0.2.3 I will uh, simplify this I'm gonna assume you know nothing about anything in this tutorial just a note so you have a few choices we're gonna ignore this choice but you have AMD 64 and i3d6 uh, this is uh, you have to compile by source but these are .deb files which Ubuntu will do it for you so oh, so what you want to do is figure out which one you need. AMD 64 is 64 bit and i386 is 32 bit. And you have to choose according to your operating system. So control alt to open the terminal. A good way to find out is to run this command. You name dash a. And you can see right before GNU Linux, it says x86 underscore 64. This means 64-bit operating system, so I'm going to be choosing AMD64. If it just says x86, this means it's a 32-bit operating system, and you should choose i3d6. So we're just going to click on that and wait for it to be done. Alright, so another thing we're going to have to do is uh, get rid of a few packages that conflict with e4rat. Uh, the packages, the package in in mind is you read ahead which is similar to e4rat but it does really play well with it open up the terminal it's uh, handy to have the terminal open all the time but i like to close it and open it again type in sudo dpkg dash dash purge ubuntu dash minimal which uh this ubuntu minimal package needs to be removed in order to remove you read ahead which is the next package we're going to add here ahead you read ahead enter your password and it'll remove both things here and there we go the next thing we're going to do is uh 
make sure that some dependencies, packages that e4rat needs to function are installed. These should be installed by default, but it's always good to check. Type sudo apt-get install li bblk id1 and e2 fs libs. All right, so they're all newest versions and they're all fine. Next thing we're going to do is now install e4rat. The uh, location where e4rat is stored is in downloads here. So we're going to have to execute the step file and instead of doing it graphically, we're going to do it from the terminal. So let's uh, go to our, uh, let's navigate to our downloads folder. CD capital D downloads and then you can just press tab to autocomplete. Now type sudo dpkg dash i dash i stands for install e4 rat and you can always press tab to autocomplete files and it will install from the dep package. So we're all done there. What we're going to have to do next is access the grub menu, the bootloader, which is basically the code that runs before the operating system starts up and it just kind of uh, loads everything into memory and gets things started. So we're going to restart our computer here. Restart, and what you want to do is hold shift while the computer is booting up. All right, so you can see it's now in the grub menu. It will it will look di uh, different depending on the, this, uh, the spin of Ubuntu you use. But it either comes graphically like this or very barren and um, more text based. But it should be the same anyhow or very similar. What you want to do is go to Ubuntu and press E. And this will give you a whole bunch of text here. And what we want to do is go down to the text that says, uh, here it is, Linux boot VM. L-I-N-U-S-Z and we're gonna scroll all the way to the end. You can see that there is a backslash which uh, denotates that it, uh, this line continues on the bottom line as well. So we're gonna go all the way to the end, add a space, and type in INIT equal, oh, INIT equals slash sbin slash e 4 rat dash collect now let's type control X to boot using that option now what we want to do is open up all the applications you normally use uh, on the computer this uh, what e4 rat collect will do it is it will keep a log of everything it needs to cache and optimize on the computer uh, on the hard drive so that means everything needed to boot up and it's good to also have all the programs you use uh, normally too, which will make it boot up faster. So let's say I use Firefox and the terminal and uh, uh, I don't know, what do I use a lot? Huh? And uh, we'll open up a few things. Maybe I use transmission. Okay. And uh, the file manager or whatever. And what you want to do is leave all the um, things open. Leave all the things that you would normally use open for two minutes. And this will allow E4RAT to collect the data it needs so that it can optimize the disk. Alright, it's been two minutes, so let's uh, check out if the log is created. What we have to do is, again, it's the terminal, type ls slash var slash lib slash E4RAT. And you can see there is a file called startup.log created. I'm going to read this file using a command called less. I'm going to navigate to it, like so. And you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, lines here. And these are all things, uh, files, that the computer needs to access to start up the system. This will also include things that uh, we opened up, like the terminal and the browser and the... Uh, uh, BitTorrent client. 
so it'll optimize everything we usually use. So now what we're going to do is reboot the computer and e enter the grub menu again. So uh, let's restart and hold shift down as the computer boots. And we are going to go to Ubuntu, press E to edit, and again scroll down to the same line we did, Linux, boot, VMZ Alliance, US, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. Scroll to the end, have a space, and type in single. What this will do is have Ubuntu boot into a command line only interface. Control X, and we'll get going. It is a command line only, only interface with root permissions as well. So we're in here already. What we want to do is run e4rat to optimize the hard drive via defragging and moving around the files and stuff. So type e4rat dash realloc space slash var slash lib slash e4rat and startup dot log which you can use tab to autocomplete those things. Enter and it'll get on to working. You can see there's a few bits of information here and it says processing 3,003 files on device dev SDA, one mount point root. Total fragmentation count before afterwards, best case. And uh, we can just let this thing run. Don't worry about anything, really. All right, guys, it's finished running and it says cannot dump log message. It gives me an error here. I believe it's because it's on a virtual machine because I did this on real hardware and this didn't happen so it'll be all fine uh, let's see let's run you can run this thing again you can just press the up arrow and it'll redisplay this and it says there is no improvement possible on the third line up so so we don't have to run this thing again it's done all that it can so shut down dash r now to reboot our machine and we're going to uh, log into our system. Alright, let's choose Ubuntu as our boot option. Alright, so what we're going to do now is configure e4rat to run on every time we boot. So open up the terminal and type nano etsy default grub and this will put out uh, actually rather sudo nano and you can just use sudo and then two exclamation points to rerun the command you did previously with sudo permission. And go down to the line that says grub command line Linux default. I'm going to leave two spaces here and what we're going to type in is init equals slash sbin slash e4rat dash preload. What this will do is have e4rat use the uh, log file and the optimizations to speed up our boot time. So control X to exit and Y to save. Enter to write. There we go. And let's update uh, the grub menu by typing sudo update grub. And uh, there we go. Now let's reboot our machine and the changes will take place. Alright, you can see e4rat preload is logging some stuff onto the screen, or rather printing things to the screen. And we are done here. Let's check our boot time now. System D dash analyze. 12 seconds. I have an explanation for this. It's because I'm running on a virtual machine and these changes don't actually show well on virtual machines. It does show well on real hardware, so try it on a real machine. I did this on a uh, 2006 era laptop and it cut my boot time from 20 seconds to 13 seconds. So a 7 second improvement with this thing. Uh, don't show my results in the virtual machine to be anything. I, it's just a virtual machine thing because it's not running on real hardware, it's running on a computer that is running a computer. Remember when I told you to uh, start up those applications that you normally use? 
Well, because of E4RAT's optimizations, these applications should also start up faster. So that's the end of the E4RAT tutorial. If you want to learn more about E4RAT, there is an Arch Linux wiki page on it and a few other good places. I'll link the Arch wiki page down in the description. That's all I have for you guys. I'll see you later. See